be reminded also that the annual Youth Alive Conference comes up 22nd of August, so close by. Endeavor to be a part of it. All our youths, it's your moment of opportunity for a change of level in your spiritual life, which you need now more than ever. As many are falling away from the faith, you need to know the secret of being established in your work with God so as to live a life of meaning and impact. Things are getting rougher. The wicked is getting more wickedly. So, and in your, you are in your most fertile season in life. I've written to you young men because you are strong. The word of God abides in you and you overcome the wicked one. First John 2, 14. Be part of that army. Things are getting tough. The jungle is getting mature by the day. Get on God's side and secure your tomorrow. Get on God's side. Every great destiny is defined by the events in the era of the youth of individuals. Train a child in a way that he will go and when he's grown, he will not depart from it. A sure foundation is what secures the future of any building. Without a sure foundation at the beginning, the future is not secure. Events of the day of the, of the days of the youth is what sets the pace for the future that awaits individuals. Remember now, the Lord your God, in the days of your youth, before the evil days come, when you will say, I have no pleasure in them. Forty foundations of buildings are hardly repairable. So lay a good foundation for the future you desire. If the foundation be destroyed, the righteous can do nothing. I was 16 when I attended the first Christian conference and I got a baptism of patience. The theme of the conference was God is not slow. God is not slow. People in a holy always end up in horror. God is not slow. God is too slow. That's why they go about computer scam. They are caught, arrested, and imprisoned. They go after drugs. They are arrested and imprisoned or even shot. They go, you know, join gangs. And that ends their life prematurely. My, at 16, I got a baptism from a Christian conference. The first one I attended with the theme, God is not slow. Second Peter chapter 3 verse 9. Revised Standard Version. God is not slow. As some can't know this. Immediately I knew that it takes patience to win the race of life. So get on there and you'll be glad you did. You'll be glad you did. The spiritually disposed you today is sure to emerge a spiritually robust individual tomorrow. A truly God loving you today is sure to end up a wonder <laughs> to his world. Sure, because those who, he says, eyes have not seen or ears have. Doesn't enter the heart of any man what God has in store for them that love him. Get up. Make the most of this season. Any evil seed sow into your heart this time may live with you for life. Could be like a ratio of 90 to 10. The probability rate. You don't get it right now. It might be a lifetime of struggle. So get it right. Don't miss the opportunity. I believe a kingdom passionate, advancement passionate youth will end up a star tomorrow. All these things that others are dying to get, they shall be added to you as you seek first the kingdom of God. Therefore, every youth should see this as, as an opportunity. This conference is start breaking new ground. God will be changing your level of who it will impart on every aspect of your life. There is no one who pursues after God that goodness and mercy will not pursue after him. So get this time orange you used to be there, you will have rest tomorrow. No one here will suffer heartbreak because of their sons and daughters. Stand to your feet, everyone.